Nicotinic acetylcholine receptors, or natures, are receptor proteins that respond to the neurotransmitter acetylcholine. Nicotinic receptors also respond to drugs, including the nicotinic receptor agonist nicotine. They are found in the central and peripheral nervous system, muscle, and many other tissues of many organisms, including humans. At the neuromuscular junction they are the primary receptor in muscle for motor nerve muscle communication that controls muscle contraction. In the peripheral nervous system, 1, they transmit outgoing signals from the presynaptic to the postsynaptic cells within the sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous system, and 2, they are the receptors found on skeletal muscle that receive acetylcholine release to signal for muscular contraction. In the immune system, natures regulate inflammatory processes and signal through distinct intracellular pathways. In insects, the cholinergic system is limited to the central nervous system. The nicotinic receptors are considered cholinergic receptors, since they respond to acetylcholine. Nicotinic receptors get their name from nicotine, which does not stimulate the muscarinic acetylcholine receptor, but instead selectively binds to the nicotinic receptor. The muscarinic acetylcholine receptor likewise gets its name from a chemical that selectively attaches to that receptor. Muscarine. Acetylcholine itself binds to both muscarinic and nicotinic acetylcholine receptors. As ionotropic receptors, natures are directly linked to ion channels. New evidence suggests that these receptors can also use second messengers as metabotropic receptors do in some cases. Nicotinic acetylcholine receptors are the best studied of the ionotropic receptors, since nicotinic receptors help transmit outgoing signals for the sympathetic and parasympathetic systems. Nicotinic receptor antagonists such as hexamethonium interfere with the transmission of these signals. Thus, for example, nicotinic receptor antagonists interfere with the baroreflex that normally corrects changes in blood pressure by sympathetic and parasympathetic stimulation of the heart. Structure Nicotinic receptors, with a molecular mass of 290 kDa, are made up of five subunits, arranged symmetrically around a central pore. Each subunit comprises four transmembrane domains with both the N and C terminus located extracellularly. They possess similarities with GABAA receptors, glycine receptors, and the type 3 serotonin receptors, which are all ionotropic receptors, or the signature CY's loop proteins. In vertebrates, nicotinic receptors are broadly classified into two subtypes based on their primary sites of expression muscle type nicotinic receptors and neuronal type nicotinic receptors. In the muscle type receptors, found at the neuromuscular junction, receptors are either the embryonic form, composed of alpha-1, beta-1, gamma, and delta subunits in a 2 to 1, 1 to 1 ratio, or the adult form composed of alpha-1, beta-1, delta, and epsilon subunits in a 2 to 1, 1 to 1 ratio. The neuronal subtypes are various homomeric, all one type of subunit, or heteromeric, at least one alpha and one beta, combinations of 12 different nicotinic receptor subunits, alpha 2 minus alpha 10 and beta 2 minus beta 4. Examples of the neuronal subtypes include, alpha 4 3, beta 2 2, alpha 4 2, beta 2 3, alpha 3 2, beta 4 3, alpha 4 alpha 6 beta 3, beta 2 2, alpha 7 5, and many others. In both muscle type and neuronal type receptors, the subunits are very similar to one another, especially in the hydrophobic regions. A number of electron microscopy and X-ray crystallography studies have provided very high-resolution structural information for muscle and neuronal natures and their binding domains. Binding to the receptor As with all ligand-gated ion channels, opening of the nature channel pore requires the binding of a chemical messenger. Several different terms are used to refer to the molecules that bind receptors, such as ligand, agonist, or transmitter. As well as the endogenous agonist acetylcholine, agonists of the nature include nicotine, epibatidine, and choline. Nicotinic antagonists that block the receptor include mecamylamine, dehydro-beta-erythroidine, and hexamethonium. In muscle-type natures, the acetylcholine binding sites are located at the alpha and either epsilon or delta subunits interface. In neuronal natures, the binding site is located at the interface of an alpha and a beta subunit or between two alpha subunits in the case of alpha-7 receptors. 
The binding site is located in the extracellular domain near the N-terminus. When an agonist binds to the site, all present subunits undergo a conformational change and the channel is opened and a pore with a diameter of about 0.65 nm opens. Opening the channel Nicotinic ACHRs may exist in different interconvertible conformational states. Binding of an agonist stabilizes the open and desensitized states. In normal physiological conditions, the receptor needs exactly two molecules of ACT to open. Opening of the channel allows positively charged ions to move across it, in particular, sodium enters the cell and potassium exits. The net flow of positively charged ions is inward. The nature is a non-selective cation channel, meaning that several different positively charged ions can cross through. It is permeable to Na plus and K plus, with some subunit combinations that are also permeable to Ca2 plus. The amount of sodium and potassium the channels allow through their pores, their conductance, varies from 50 to 110 pico siemens, with the conductance depending on the specific subunit composition as well as the permeant ion. Many neuronal natures can affect the release of other neurotransmitters. The channel usually opens rapidly and tends to remain open until the agonist diffuses away, which usually takes about 1 millisecond. However, ACHRs can sometimes open with only one agonist bound and, in rare cases, with no agonist bound, and they can close spontaneously even when ACK is bound. Therefore, ACK binding changes the probability of pore opening, which increases as more ACK binds. The nature is unable to bind ACK when bound to any of the snake venom alpha neurotoxins. These alpha neurotoxins antagonistically bind tightly and noncovalently to natures of skeletal muscles and in neurons, thereby blocking the action of ACK at the postsynaptic membrane, inhibiting ion flow and leading to paralysis and death. The nature contains two binding sites for snake venom neurotoxins. Progress towards discovering the dynamics of binding action of these sites has proved difficult, although recent studies using normal mode dynamics have aided in predicting the nature of both the binding mechanisms of snake toxins and of ACT to natures. These studies have shown that a twist-like motion caused by ACT binding is likely responsible for pore opening, and that one or two molecules of alpha bungarotoxin or other long-chain alpha neurotoxin suffice to halt this motion. The toxins seem to lock together neighboring receptor subunits, inhibiting the twist and therefore, the opening motion. Effects The activation of receptors by nicotine modifies the state of neurons through two main mechanisms. On one hand, the movement of cations causes a depolarization of the plasma membrane, which results in an excitatory postsynaptic potential in neurons, but also by the activation of voltage-gated ion channels. On the other hand, the entry of calcium acts, either directly or indirectly, on different intracellular cascades. This leads, for example, to the regulation of the activity of some genes or the release of neurotransmitters. Receptor regulation Receptor desensitization Ligand-bound desensitization of receptors was first characterized by Katz and Thesleff in the nicotinic acetylcholine receptor. Prolonged or repeated exposure to a stimulus often results in decreased responsiveness of that receptor toward a stimulus, termed desensitization. Nature function can be modulated by phosphorylation by the activation of second messenger-dependent protein kinases. PKA and PKC, as well as tyrosine kinases, have been shown to phosphorylate the nature resulting in its desensitization. It has been reported that, after prolonged receptor exposure to the agonist, the agonist itself causes an agonist-induced conformational change in the receptor, resulting in receptor desensitization. Desensitized receptors can revert to a prolonged open state when an agonist is bound in the presence of a positive allosteric modulator, for example PNU120596. Also, there is evidence that indicates specific chaperone molecules have regulatory effects on these receptors. Roles the subunits of the nicotinic receptors belong to a multigene family, 16 members in humans, and the assembly of combinations of subunits results in a large number of different receptors. For more information, see the ligand gated ion channel database. 
These receptors, with highly variable kinetic, electrophysiological and pharmacological properties, respond to nicotine differently, at very different effective concentrations. This functional diversity allows them to take part in two major types of neurotransmission. Classical synaptic transmission, wiring transmission, involves the release of high concentrations of neurotransmitter, acting on immediately neighboring receptors. In contrast, paracrine transmission, volume transmission, involves neurotransmitters released by synaptic boudins, which then diffuse through the extracellular medium until they reach their receptors, which may be distant. Nicotinic receptors can also be found in different synaptic locations, for example the muscle nicotinic receptor always functions post-synaptically. The neuronal forms of the receptor can be found both post-synaptically involved in classical neurotransmission and pre-synaptically where they can influence the release of multiple neurotransmitters. Subunits 17 vertebrate nature subunits have been identified, which are divided into muscle type and neuronal type subunits. However, although an alpha-8 subunit gene is present in avian species such as the chicken, it is not present in human or mammalian species. The nature subunits have been divided into four subfamilies IIV, based on similarities in protein sequence. In addition, subfamily 3 has been further divided into three types. Alpha genes, CHRNA1, muscle, CHRNA2, neuronal, CHRNA3, CHRNA4, CHRNA5, CHRNA6, CHRNA7, CHRNA8, CHRNA9, CHRNA10. Beta genes, CHRNB1, muscle, CHRNB2, neuronal, CHRNB3, CHRNB4. Other genes, CHRND, Delta, CHRNE, Epsilon, CHRNG, Gamma. Notable variations Nicotinic receptors are pentamers of these subunits, i.e., each receptor contains five subunits. Thus, there is immense potential of variation of these subunits. However, some of them are more commonly found than others. The most broadly expressed subtypes include alpha-1, 2, beta-1, de, adult muscle type, alpha-3, 2, beta-4, 3, ganglion type, alpha-4, 2, beta-2, 3, CNS type, and alpha-7, 5, another CNS type. A comparison follows. See also Muscarinic acetylcholine receptor Muscarinic agonist Muscarinic antagonist Nicotinic agonist Nicotinic antagonist References External links Media related to nicotinic acetylcholine receptors at Wikimedia Commons Calculated spatial position of nicotinic acetylcholine receptor in the lipid bilayer